Hey everyone, this is Brandon from Tuta, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a shared mailbox in your Tuta account. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, you need to log in and make sure that you have a premium subscription as the shared mailbox feature is only available to premium users. So you need at least a revolutionary subscription to take advantage of this. Then you come here to settings, go to shared mailboxes, pretty intuitive there. Now, you can see we already have a few created, and to create a new shared mailbox, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit this plus button. Now we can pick a name. Let's call it Vacation. Now we need to choose an email address for that shared mailbox. Here you can see we're using nothingtohide.info. This is a custom domain that we use for these demo videos. But you can also go ahead and use the official Tuta domains if they're still available. It is important that the email address be available uh, because email addresses cannot be duplicated within Tuta. So we can go ahead with custom domain, let's just call it summer vacation at nothingtohide.info. We can see it is available, no one has created that yet. So we can go ahead and we can hit okay. Here you're gonna see a booking summary. For us, it's 144 per year. This is due to the subscription on the demo account. A shared mailbox will cost three euros per mailbox. That's if you have a revolutionary subscription. So we can go ahead and just click this. Now we have our new shared mailbox. If we go ahead and click on it. We can start customizing it and adding different settings and configurations. We could change the name if we want to, this little pencil button here. Right now the shared mailbox is active but we can also go ahead and deactivate it if we wanted to. Uh, currently there is 1.5K um, storage being used, email address is there, and we can always change that sender name. So maybe we don't want it to send as, hey, vacation, you could also add your name there if you want to. Let's go ahead and add some group members. If you come here to this little tab, hit the plus button, we can go ahead and add members to our shared mailboxes. These members are going to be users within the account. So Alice, that's who we are right now, but let's go ahead and we'll invite Bob. So, Bob has now been added to our shared mailbox. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like in Bob's account. So, when you open up Bob's account, we can see here is Bob's personal mailbox. Then we scroll down a little bit. Wedding is still there. And here is vacation. So our new, new shared mailbox has been added successfully. Let's go back there, back to Alice. Yeah, once you're here, you can go ahead, do any other configurations you might need, add more people. You could also remove people from your group by hitting this X button. You can go ahead and do that now. Now only Alice has access to this account. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this speeds up your workflow a bit and helps you share emails in a safe and secure way. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.